everyone, my name is Frankie Romeo. I'm here in the Human Performance Lab at Lipscomb University in Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm a graduate student in exercise and nutrition science. I'm also a certified personal trainer. There's no doubt that resistance bands are rising in popularity. They provide a unique and effective way to exercise. They can be taken almost anywhere, used for a variety of exercises, and create progressive resistance unlike free weights. The following workout consists of five exercises, which are intended to be completed one at a time. That is, complete all the sets and repetitions of one exercise before moving on to the next. Each of the exercises in this workout use one light tension, single loop resistance band. Light tension bands are typically much thinner than medium or high tension bands. They may also be labeled by color depending on the brand. So let me take you out these doors and we'll get started. The first exercise is the standing press. Fold the band so that it no longer makes a loop, but instead a straight line. Hold one end with each hand. Wrap it around your upper back, making sure it doesn't interfere with your neck. Make fists and press out in front of you with straight arms. Bend your arms and repeat as if you're doing air push-ups. Perform three sets of eight to 10 repetitions. If the standing press isn't challenging enough, the resisted push-up alternative might be for you. I recommend these if you can do a minimum of 10 good bodyweight push-ups. Fold the band into a straight line. Hold one end with each hand. Wrap it around your upper back. Lie face down on the ground with hands below your shoulders. The ends of the band should be between your palm and the ground. Press up while maintaining straight legs and neutral hips so that your backside forms a straight line. Bend your arms and bring your chest towards the ground. Once your chest comes within a few inches off the ground, press with your arms to bring your body back up. Make sure the band remains wrapped around your upper back and doesn't slide onto your neck. This will challenge your chest, triceps, and the interior or the front of your shoulders. Perform three sets of six to eight repetitions. Next, shoulder pulls. Fold the band into a straight line. Hold the band with each hand, palms facing down. How close or far apart your hands are determines the level of resistance. Now, hold the band out in front of you with straight arms. With a strong, upright posture, pull the band apart in a controlled manner until the center touches the middle of your chest. Slowly bring your hands close together. Maintain body control and band tension throughout the movement. This exercise tests primarily the posterior or back of the shoulders, an important and undertrained muscle for good posture. Perform two to three sets of 10 repetitions. Third are seated rows. Sit on the ground with legs straight out in front of you. Fold the band into a straight line and hold the ends with each hand. Wrap the band around the center of both feet. Straighten your back and maintain an upright posture as you pull with both hands. Think of squeezing your back together and pinching your elbows at your sides. The tension will increase as your hands come closer to your torso. This engages your back and biceps. Perform four sets of eight to 10 repetitions. Lateral walks begin the next exercise. Don't fold the band so that it remains a loop. Step on the band with the center of each foot. Widen your stance to slightly pass shoulder width apart. Cross or make an X with the band to create a second loop. Hold the second loop with each hand. Pull the band with your arms to torso level. Begin by stepping to the side with one foot and following with the other. The tension in the band will try to force your feet together. Maintain the same distance between each feet as when you started. This will challenge your hip and leg strength as well as core stability. Perform two sets of 10 steps in each direction. Last are assisted crunches. Sit on the ground with legs straight out in front of you. Don't fold the band so that it remains a loop. Wrap the band around both feet. Cross or make an X with the band to create a second loop. Hold the second loop with each hand. Pull the band with your hands to torso level and lie back so that you're lying on the ground. Bend both knees while keeping your heels on the ground and toes lifted. From here, perform standard crunches by bringing your elbows towards your thighs. The tension in the band will help you perform the exercise and build ad abdominal strength. Perform three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. A more challenging alternative are the X crunches. Sit on the ground with legs straight out in front of you. Don't fold the band so that it remains a loop. Wrap the band around both feet. Cross or make an X with the band to create a second loop. Hold the second loop with each hand. Pull the band with your hands to torso level and lie back so that you're lying on the ground. Make sure the band is securely wrapped around the center of each foot. From here, extend your arms overhead. The band is now stretched to the full length of the body. The taller you are, the more tension there will be in the band. Carefully bend your knees and arms toward each other simultaneously to perform a crunch, but only so much to maintain tension in the band. Your shoulders should come off the ground slightly. Then, extend your knees and arms back to the lengthened lying position. This is primarily an abdominal exercise. Perform two to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. I hope you enjoyed the video. When it comes to resistance bands, remember that a little goes a long way. Start light and stay focused. Until next time.